Hello and welcome to Nanapod, a podcast dedicated to the fantastic manga written by A. Yazawa. I'm Crystal, and I'm joined by my best girl, Kirsten, as we dissect this manga, discussing everything from the emotions, the cultural impact, as well as any headcanons that might be floating around in our brains. With this podcast, we hope to preserve a shoujo staple that sadly hasn't been talked about in a very long time. So come with us. We're waiting for you in apartment 707. Where where are we? We're we're in volume five. We're in volume five. Yay. Um, chapter 13. Yeah. And as I was saying, this is kind of a short chapter. It is. Um, I have a summary of the previous volumes. Yeah. Um, so I can read that. It mm-hmm. says, Komatsu Nana and Osaki Nana met by accident on the train bringing them to Tokyo. These two young women, opposite in personality and social origin, uh, are once more reunited by fortune, or perhaps fate, or the demon lord. Or the demon lord. <laughs> and they become flatmates. Shoji, Komatsu Nana's boyfriend, has an affair with Sachiko, a young woman working in the same restaurant as he but also a student in the same art school see like they have whatever um (laughs) it's over between he and nana nana is deeply hurt but her flatmate's presence really helps her and that's when the tickets for the trap nest concert uh she's been waiting for eagerly arrive on her side by her band blast, Osaki Nana gives her first concert in Tokyo and is a great success. During that, Komatsu Nana learns from Masato, a blast fan, that Ren is her flatmate's ex-boyfriend, and she decides to bring her to the Trap Nest concert with her. The concert starts. Both Nanas are in the first row. But what is the meaning behind Osaki Nana's tears? Ooh. I mean, yeah, it's one thing for Hachi to cry. Yeah, uh, Hachi always cries, so. <laughs> In one you fashion know. or another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, like, that's the thing. Like, if if Nana is crying, like, it's a thing, right? But if Hachi is crying, it's like, well, what kind of crying is it? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, a whole, it's a whole other thing. Um, and then I have a color picture. You get a color picture. Yeah, I get a color picture. It's a picture, I'm sure you have it in black and white. It's a picture of Trap Nest, and it says Trigger Tour. Yeah. And then I have a second color picture. And it's kind of weird art. I don't know how I feel about it. It yeah. almost looks like it's attempted to be CGI. Yeah, it, it's Nana, right? Just Yeah. Hanging out. Yeah, I thought that too when I was looking at it. I'm like, and then this happens. Where right, and then this weird. happened, and it almost looks like a doll. Yeah, a little bit. Like the attempt of, um, what is that doll? Momoko doll? A Momoko doll. Mm-hmm. And they did make, they did make um, a Nana Momoko doll. I've been looking for one for a long time. Yeah, I just, I just typed in, uh, you know, hey, Yazwa, so I wanted to see what happened. And I'm like, oh, that. Okay, there's the Momoko doll. She's not bad. I really like Momoko dolls. I mean, I would say they're usually around $100. Um, yeah, it feels a little... Okay, this is going to be mean, but this uh-huh. this this doll feels very much like those those Sailor Moon dolls that were around in the 90s. Well, I mean, um, Momoko's been a lo- around for a long time. Yeah. And like they all kind of look the same because it's kind of like a Barbie. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the face is prettier than the uh, the Sailor Moon dolls for sure, but the uh, the sculpting of like the head feels very similar. Mm. Well, they're I think that they're just like the head is a soft plastic. I've never oh, owned yeah. I've never owned a Momoko doll. Um, I have like the I guess comparable Korean version of the Momoko doll. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I regularly shop Momoko dolls, but like. It's the type of doll that I would just want one because I used to make clothes that were that size. Yeah. Yeah. They have Nana stickers. I want Nana stickers. I have Nana stickers. Uh, on my jelly. tablet. <laughs> that's, that's jelly. I, I, want, I want Nana stickers. 
Do I get all these stickers? Sorry, I shouldn't look at the thing. Like, don't buy the things. <laughs> Sorry, we were... Give me the stickers. Give me the stickers. I love stickers. And then I can, like, put it on, like, my stuff for, like, my shows with other things to draw the eye. So people will come and look at my booth. I found a poster. I think it was on, like, I can't remember if it was Society 6 or Redbubble, but, or Babble. Bubble? I know I always say it wrong. I mean, um, you, say, you say Red Babble and Nate loves it. He says it all the time now. He's like, you mean Red Babble? <laughs> yep, Red Babble. Oh, um, yeah, yep, that's it. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, why not? Yeah, why not? I mean, and it literally, you said it once and he's like, that's its name now. That is now. its name now. We just go with it. Um, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, but I found somebody, somebody made uh, the band flyer poster that Hachi made. Oh, yeah. With the eyes and everything. And I'm like, I need that. I need that in my life. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> so good. good. I know. I was like, that's actually clever. Um, <laughs> I'm like, oh man. Because they just, like, they like took, you know, what was from the manga. Mm -hmm. And then they did like uh, just a sketch of it. And it's like colored and everything. And it's got like the Nana star eyes or the Hachi star eyes. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I would have never thought that this is something that I need now. <laughs> um, that, that's good. I love it. It's so good. So underneath the underneath the trap nest thing, um, there are thought squares. Yeah. Um, and it says under the thought squares, which I found interesting. Yazawa I special present volume thirteen, and I'm like. It's special? Is this... Oh, right? I I'm confused. It's it's not a bonus. <laughs> right? Um, oh. Right? But it says, at that time, Trap Nest had existed for three years. Their singles and CDs had sold over a million copies. The voice of their singer, Rira, uh, was rare for a Japanese singer and stood out from the rest. And Ren was the one who wrote most of those songs. Mm -hmm. and then so, we have the hachi. like before yeah. we like get to like hachi do you have like hot takes for the chapter um it's so short and i wish that it was longer mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's a big part of it um <laughs> i actually i was like come on come on <laughs> It should be longer, in my opinion. And I'm sure the next one's going to be relatively short, too. So they just should have been together. Fair. One chapter. Um, I do, but there, it's also, like, uh, I wouldn't say necessarily hot takes. Um, but I have thoughts about some things that are said. Uh, because uh, there's, it's, it's interesting. There's some clues that I guess I didn't catch on before. Um, mm-hmm. But, like, I don't know. It's just, it's such a short chapter. It's, it's almost just, like, the chapter itself is just, like, here, here's the thing you've been waiting for. Cool. Right. Let's digress. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, do you have any hot takes? Um, one, I think you are right. There is something in my read, at least, that I caught. I wonder if we caught the same thing. Um that I didn't notice before. And I was like, oh, foreshadowing? Question mark? Ooh. Um, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I'm interested to see like what you didn't get on some of the last reads. And also, I'm, I'm mad at Takumi. Like, oh. <laughs> like, I know he's my toxic boy, but like in this chapter, like I'm mad at him. I just, I just am. So. Interesting. We'll get there. <laughs> interesting well like i mean yeah and a part of me wants to go to like from this chapter i just want to go into the next part i want to i want to go into the part where they like meet like they all meet each other you know what i mean yeah um like i want to go to, i want to go i want to go now into like a week from now when they're in tokyo right um there's something else does yours say dreamy and hopeful life in tokyo nope <laughs> on uh the picture of of nana looking like a doll nope 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, because you you get like the the fun translating. Well, I don't know. Like mine's like the aggressive translation, and yours is, has has things like success slut and right. Which is why, like, I'm actually <laughs> I was thinking about it. I'm really excited for June or for Gokunjo because like we can do a read through of Gokunjo. Yeah, I am. I'm excited for Gokunjo too. I was thinking about it today, and I was like. I've never read, well, obviously, I've never read, like, an, a, a professional English translation. And, like, <laughs> is that I've only ever read fan edits, right? And yeah. so I'm also really curious, though, if they're going to, like, do better because of the times. They they might be. Or they might right? not. I'm, you're just going to be mad. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not correct. No. <laughs> right. Take it back <laughs> take it back, back. <laughs> but i guess we'll see but anyway um, yeah we have we have yeah. hachi we have we have, we have hachi, hachi looking like forlorn yeah i mean she, she looks like really hopeful but also mm -hmm. like melancholic yeah, well, she's sending him, like, thought waves, like... Right, because she even says, um, I keep sending him telepathic waves. Yeah, don't you hear the call of the priestess of the demon lord, Ren? Right, right, which, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, the concert itself was two hours long, and, um, and she says that, like, it seems like he kept looking over, uh, but then looking away. I think he totally was looking. He was totally looking. Yeah. But he has to see professional, and he also has to like keep his guard up. Right. Gotta be so cool. Well, he's performing. You're on stage. Like he gotta, he gotta focus. Right. Well, yeah. And also, I mean, could you imagine if he actually left off, left, left off stage, and how Takumi would react, <laughs> and how much that would like blow up everything? I mean, true, but the, the crowd would have gone wild for it, though. They would yeah, have until like... they, like, tried to murder Nana. Oh, yeah, yeah, that totally would have happened. That would have happened. <laughs> that would have happened. Like, it would have been, like, oh, and then screaming, and then wows, and then, like, like, stakes and fire, and... Mm-hmm. Because groupies be crazy. Dude, like, for real. <laughs> Um, and so then they, like, pan into his eyes and how he's kind of glancing over. Mm hmm Um, and the, you know, Hachi had the impression that Ren looked away, but as soon as it happened, he would look the other way. Mm-hmm. So, like, mm-hmm. Yeah. And I so mean, yeah. then she, like, <laughs> looks worried. And I don't know yeah. what yours says, but mine says, is he inaccessible? Oh, she literally is like, was he not getting my messages? Oh, God. <laughs> you know. I guess she's... it could kind of, it could kind of be the same, like, inaccessible. Like, he doesn't have telepathy, which it wouldn't even, or telekinesis. <laughs> or would it be telepathy? Telepathy? Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Like, yeah, I, I, well, that's interesting because I know later on in my chapter, she does say that Ren is inaccessible. Um, like, oh, I guess I should have guessed he must just be so inaccessible now. So, but right. no, not here. She's literally shooting him like thought daggers, like, yo, yo. That's funny. That's so funny. Right. Which I mean, I like, fantasy. I'm sure he felt them, to be honest. Yeah. Because he knew. Right. He knew. He did. Um, and so let's see. We had finally succeeded in coming here. And it's Nana. It's Nana's eyes watching. And she's like not looking at Ren in the one above. No, I think she's looking at Rera. Yeah, she is. She's looking yeah. at her sting. Mm -hmm. Um the stage that had seemed so close is getting further away. Mm -hmm. And then they're done and they say, thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. And everybody's like screaming and they concluded the concert. Um, and well, for the moment, you know, for the moment, there's an encore. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly, because we don't see the, sorry, spoiler. We don't see the encore. Um, we, do, we don't actually. It's not really a spoiler if it doesn't happen. Like, that's true. 
that's true i guess yeah i mean um, like, so... it happened but it didn't happen <laughs> rira bows and hachi is looking at red and red just turns and walks off oh well, yeah he's gotta he's gotta do the thing stay professional Mm-hmm. well takumi is scary uh yeah he's just so but so Ren doesn't demanding. really care about Takumi, which I think is also funny, which you don't really learn that till later. Yeah. But, like, you know, he understands Takumi. Somebody's got to. He oh has to. <laughs> um, and so then Naoki, uh, he's like, the audience was really impressive today. They're warm, don't you think? Um, is that national? <laughs> <laughs> Takumi's like, don't you mean... or it? He says nationalism. And then Takumi's <laughs> like, don't you mean regionalism? We're not on a world tour. <laughs> oh, man, that's much better than mine because uh, what Naoki's What does yours say? I was curious about that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Naoki's like, is it regional? And uh, Takumi's like, I think it's pure country bumpkin. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> like the fucking shade, man. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Wow. Not like <laughs> which might actually go against another comment that's made later, which is really interesting. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm ready. So, um, he says we're not on a world tour. Naoki, I'm begging you, stop talking into the microphone. What? <laughs> You're <laughs> exhibiting your stupidity. <laughs> which I'm just like, was he literally doing that? Like on stage? Was he talking? My right? goodness. Probably. Oh my god. Probably. Okay. Drum players are also just generally weird dudes. Yeah. And, like, it's interesting because, like, I don't know, maybe Naoki or drum players in general seek a different level of attention because they're, like, way back there. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, they are. <laughs> um, but you're but the yeah. beat. Can't but you're the beat, attention. man! <laughs> also, when was he talking into the mic? I wish we could have seen that part. <laughs> Yeah, same. I was like, and what was he saying? <laughs> He's just rambling on about his sparkly hair, probably. <laughs> so, um, guys, you don't even know. You can't even see me. I'm back here. I'm back here. Look at look at my scarves. Ooh, ooh, yeah. That's exactly, that's I'm so exactly well dressed, right. and you don't even know. Right? That's what he was doing. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Um, so Naoki says we have to play more songs for our encore. Two is too light. And uh, Takubi is like, without even practicing, you're an idiot. <laughs> and their manager is like, and it isn't possible because we've pushed the timing as far as we can go. Uh, because the room we're playing in isn't free. Nope. And it's so like, they, pay for they, it. they can't afford, I thought they were like, about found a bunch of country bumpkins, so it should be cheap. They can pay for a half hour. <laughs> I don't know. Like they have anything else planned. Maybe it's a uh, like they they gouge the people that play so they can keep it open. Probably, even though I don't think they're properly in the country. No, no, it's. Takumi's I think it's a just... mountain city. Yeah, Takumi's just being Takumi. Yes, yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> right. Um. <laughs> so Rira says, Taki Chan, you idiot. <laughs> oh, she calls him a cheapskate in mine. <laughs> and the, does he have a sign on the back? Yeah. This is Taki Chan, 30, Trap Nest Manager. Oh, I don't get his age, but Trap Nest Manager, yeah. He's 30. He's 30. You know. uh... Yeah. And then uh, the other manager, maybe? Whoever else is on the crew, uh, says, Rira, hurry up and change. Mm -hmm. And Takumi's like, Rira, you shut up too. <laughs> so harsh. I know. He's just no nonsense. Yeah. I'm, somebody, I'm so... somebody has to be the Yasu of the group, even if he's a womanizer. It's all right. Uh, I suppose. But he's like, see, I want you to do his chart. I know you asked everybody on like, Tumblr, like, what should I do next? I'm like, I really want to know his chart because he seems like we a... Don't, I don't think we have a Takumi birthday, so I have to make it up. Like, completely. Damn. From nothing. I mean, that's I mean, fine. What's a stone cold, you know, calculator with? Decided they're all Capricorns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, you know, remember they were like they said we're all. No, he probably has a lot of Virgo placements. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, that tracks. Mm. Right. He probably has mm. he probably has quite a few Virgo placements. Um, maybe even like a Virgo rising with a few planets in the first house. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> that would be my guess off, you know. Because like I don't even I assume though, I want to assume that Takumi was also born in the same town as them, since I don't have that information. Um I have a birthday. He's yeah. Sagittarius. Oh, oh, you know oh, what? Yeah. That checks. Like it tracks because there's different kinds of Sagittarians. So I'd probably place him in like the third deacon of Sagittarius. Um mm -hmm. closer to like closer to the Capricorn, you know what yep. I mean? Yep. Um <clears throat> <clears throat> and uh his birthday is december 12th 1977 oh okay uh blood type o but i need to make sure that this is correct because some of the birthdays that i found on the nana fandom are wrong yeah yeah you, compared to you yeah yeah, compared to, like, what's been stated in interviews, what's been stated on the anime, and what's been stated in the manga itself. Which is, you know... Yeah. Um, cite your sources, BBs. Right. Exactly. Otherwise, I'll cite them for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> they call her Capricorn Correction, Stellium. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> so they go into their little, like, dressing room area. Yeah, the green room. The green room. There we go. Backstage. Yeah. They're backstage, but They're we're backstage. not actually backstage, backstage. No. Backstage, backstage is Junko's snack bar. <laughs> Junko's corner is backstage, backstage, depending on where they're at. Yeah. Um, where Nobu can drink freely. Where Nobu can drink freely. <laughs> Or no one can be an idiot and spill all the secrets. Even though yes. he'll do that anyway. It's fine, guys. It's fine. It is. It's totally fine. Um, and so Takumi says, Hey, Ren, tell me. You messed up on the second song, right? He did. You thought no one would notice, but you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a dash. And Ren goes running out of the green room. Mm-hmm. And Naoki's like, where are you going, Ren? And he's like, restroom! <laughs> and Takumi looks fucking pissed. <laughs> yeah, like, I was gonna ream you for your mistake that you made. He made the mistake because he saw Nana. Sorry, yeah, exactly. Spoiler. No, it's not a spoiler. <laughs> it's obvious. You can calculate that on your own. True. Yeah, no, of course he did. It was the first time. Mm-hmm. That he saw her, he made a mistake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because hearts, hearts. Because hearts. Yeah, because it was the second song. Mm -hmm. They had a two-hour set. That's a long time. That's a long set. It's a really long set. Like, That's do they have so enough songs? Long. Oh my god, they played like, my goodness. Well, they probably played old songs. They've right. been a band for three years. So, like, what an album a year. Mm -hmm. This is maybe I don't know. I didn't look up. Hold on. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, what I did. I mean, <laughs> generally speaking, because I did this when I when I went to um, Salem. It's like I put a disc in, and it's about they're about an hour mm -hmm. on a track, depending on if you have like seventeen tracks. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it could be if they have three albums out, they can pick and choose from whatever. They I'm want. looking it up. Okay. I, okay, that's I got this. <laughs> okay. You're, you're like, yes, but I'm looking. <laughs> oh, well, that's useless to me. Next. <laughs> um, They just listed some songs, and I'm like, no. I need to know how many albums. <laughs> how many albums? I'm just going to put that in instead of discography. Well, we know that Trigger is one of them. Right, and we know they've been a band for three years. Mm-hmm. Um... And so, like, I don't know how many how many albums do you, does a band release a year? One, two. Oh, sometimes I mean, it takes years. Like the bands I listen to, sometimes they take years. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the ones I listen to now, like it takes years for them to do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this is also a J-pop band, so like, and they have a big contract. Yep. Um, so produce. So, yeah, yeah. Capitalism. Yay. So Yay. like. <laughs> 
Um, and I don't think that all of the songs on the fandom discography are albums, right? Mm -hmm. Because it says A Little Pain, Wish, Starless Night, Shadow of Love, Tell Me, Rock You, Winter Sleep, Recorded Butterflies, and Wish Again. Um, and so, and then they, they have tours, Trigger. Well, Trigger is an album. So, I mean, even if they have, okay, let's just say they have three albums. Yeah. Okay, so, like, they pull some, and this is, like, their third or fourth album, somewhere in there. So they pull yeah. a few songs from each, and then they have, like, little breaks. Mm -hmm. It could work out to two hours. Yeah, especially, like, well, if their first one's, like, an EP. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's not too bad. Yeah, they can yeah. do it. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, um, oh, yeah, somebody even in the comments of the fandom page is like shouldn't trigger be added right <laughs> isn't it like, an album <laughs> yeah because i'm like well I, I know that wish is the name of a song i didn't didn't think it was a whole oh, right a whole thing exactly yeah could be a single right those are mm -hmm. probably all the singles anyway i mean even if they had all of that list and then the new album mm -hmm. that could work out to two hours yeah an hour for the album for Trigger, and then an hour for previous songs. Mm hmm Right? That were, like, singles and big hits or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Two hours. We figured it out. It just seems so long. It really does, especially when most bands only play, like, 30, 45, 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Yeah. I, yeah. I'm trying to remember. I know that, like, every time I saw Lady Gaga, it was always a really long show. Oh, But that's yeah. also because, like, it's also a big performance it's not like she's just up there doing music she's also performing and there's also like a lot of weird shit that happens yeah like being born out of an egg um yeah, yeah. yeah. performance mm -hmm. art we love it yeah we love it we live for it um oh god now my brain is like going off on a lady gaga tangent i'm like that was not the time <laughs> now is not the time <laughs> So Ren ran away. Ren and, ran away to the bathroom. Yeah. And Naoki is like, wait, where did he screw up? I didn't notice anything. I didn't know Ren made mistakes. Because he was probably talking. He was talking about his he hair. He was talking about his hair. <laughs> and how pretty he's dressed. <laughs> right. Um, <clears throat> see, mine doesn't say that Ren doesn't make mistakes. Mine says uh, Ren is also, like, Ren also makes mistakes sometimes. Oh, so he's telling Takumi, like, even Everybody did, makes like... mistakes. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Takumi, it. <laughs> right? He's like, be more careful. <laughs> like, that's what he's thinking to himself. Jeez, one's just as bad as the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He's just, like, a crazy perfectionist. I'm still leaning towards, like, we got some Virgo placements. Yep. Yep. Mm, and nope. then, like, the promiscuity totally checks out for certain yeah, qualities though. of Sagittarius. So, there is that. Yeah. Um, and so then Nana looks sad. Mm, Hachi and Nana. the crowd is, yeah, Hachi Nana. Hachi Nana looks sad, and the, the crowd is, like, yelling oh encore. Oh, encore. I mean, fair that she's allowed to look sad. Um, yeah, Ren wasn't getting her telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> but she's sad for Nana. I know. I know she is. She's she's sad for Nana. Very she's much. like, do you think Ren noticed that we're here? And Nana just laughs and she's like, with so many spotlights on his face, that's impossible to see the audience. <laughs> Not the first row. <laughs> Not the first row. You can see the first row. Right? But... She doesn't know that. She's never right, been up there. True. Right. And she's like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> like aggressively. Mm -hmm. Um, and so Nana's like, I'm not sure because I've never been on a stage that large. And I'm like, oh, you will, don't worry. Right. For a little while anyway. Yeah. Um, and so now Hachi's in her head, and there's like a big spiral, and it says, Oh no. <laughs> what if she's right but we were in the first row <laughs> was it a trap by the devil i.e demon lord yeah and when she's like the demon lord strikes i'm like did he though he gave me the tickets hachi like... Honey, right you just 
like no no it wasn't the demon lord no it wasn't and if it was the demon lord it's just because things have to work out in some way that's realistic right <laughs> so i can't just give you everything right <laughs> Um, it's possibly hard to sing in such a wide room. So Nana is still like dreaming about being on a stage that big. Mm -hmm. And then Hachi still looks bewildered. Nana looks really like solemn. Mm -hmm. And then there's a pack of black stones and it says, you, Nana, you could probably do it. Blast is a band that will be able to surpass Trap Nest. And then it's Yasu. It is Yasu. <sighs> it's true. It's Yasu. <laughs> it's Yasu. And he's smoking a cigarette in a tailored suit. And <laughs> looking cool. With a briefcase, cool. looking fancy. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then there's like music because his phone starts ringing. And he looks at it kind of bewildered, and then he says hello, and then it's Ren on the other on the other line yelling at him, Yasu, Nana is here. Yeah, he's, he's shouting. In he's shouting. Now, granted, he's in the bathroom. True. So it's echoing, too. Right. Just, you know, add that in there. Um, and <laughs> Yasu kind of smirks. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, yeah, is your concert over? Shit, I forgot my cigarettes, is what Ren thinks to himself. Uh, and he's like, no, it's not done yet. We still have to perform the encore. And then Yasu's like, heh, you've got a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Just not answering the question. Uh, well, because, like, it's a stupid question. <laughs> but it is. <laughs> because, like, Ren already knows the answer. Well, does no. he, though? Ren, Ren already knows the answer. Yeah. He should, because he's over there being sneaky, sneaky with Yasu. Mm, true, but I get see, because in mine, he asked, like, why is Nana here? And it's just like, mm, I guess you didn't think she would ever show up to one of your performances, huh? Interesting. See, I feel like Ren should know better. Mm. But maybe not necessarily, like, at this venue. Yeah. Maybe not at the concert, but, like... He, yeah, the reason I say she should know better is like he should just assume that Yasu knew. Oh, yeah, that's true. Even though assumptions I... are bad, but like, come on, Ren, you have secrets with Yasu. Why would true. Yasu tell you everything? True, I'm just like, and, and Yasu does know, but he doesn't mm -hmm. blab things, mm -hmm. so right, exactly, exactly. Um, and so Yas or Ren says, You knew about this, didn't you? Why didn't you tell me? And Yasu says, because I wanted you to be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> then you can be happy. I was shocked. I had to fix my mistake by inventing an arrangement. And then Yasu just dies <laughs> laughing. Like, actually, yeah. just his he's hysterically laughing. And he's like, seriously? <laughs> That's even better than I'd hoped. <laughs> and Ren yells, hey, that's not funny. Right. And it's like, no wonder Takumi noticed he made a mistake. He didn't just make a mistake. He wrote a new song. Right. He's like, and I'm riffing. Uh, <laughs> it's totally normal in, in, in a ballad. Oh, shit. Um, I mean, you, you can do it in a ballad, but anyway. <laughs> right. No, no matter. He had to rewrite an arrangement because he made like a little mistake. And it's like, that is actually, you know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I love that Yasu is just like just midnight. Like he's he's losing his mind laughing at him. Yeah, he is. Um, and so Ren says, I can understand coming to a concert in Tokyo, but why in a rich neighborhood and in the first row? And so then Yasu says, Hop off the stage and pull her into your arms. Okay, so there Right. Okay, here's I have a note here. Oh, okay, because for me I'm like, is he reciting the hachi fantasy at oh i think so <laughs> i think so he was I there it, you know uh -huh. like you know what would make hachi happy just just dive bomb that stage do man. it for hachi do it for hachi you've never met her but do it anyway yeah do it I for hachi red that could yeah. be a t-shirt that could be a t-shirt a picture of red that just says do it for hachi do it for hachi I'm writing that down <laughs> do it do it so i don't 
to wear that hoodie. I would. I'd wear a shirt of that. People would be like, context? No. no. <laughs> Either no you know context. or you don't know. The oh, girlies know. who get it, get it. It's true. Oh, also, the other day when I was looking up uh, Junko's corner, um, not, the Nana pod came up in the search engine. So that was cool. Really cool. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. I was like, you oh, hey, look. It's some traction. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen to us, please. <laughs> Yeah, do it, because I think, well, I think Kirsten's very funny. She comes up with most of the <laughs> taglines. I don't mean to. I just say stuff, which gets me in trouble, honestly. <laughs> it's great. I love it. So oh, thanks. Thanks. I think we're funny. Um, <laughs> okay, so where, where Ren says, okay, so I found this interesting. Okay, so where Ren says that it's a rich neighborhood... Mm -hmm. And then Nana, in the last episode, was like, you're rich? And Hachi is like, no, this is normal. And it's like, that just reinstates, like, that idea of privilege. Right, right. Like, it, you know, like, it, it further solidifies that, oh. Mm -hmm. Right? But Plus then... Divide. But then it's funny, though, because Takumi said that they were a bunch of country bumpkins. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, Takumi's privilege, his class privilege, is also showing. It's interesting because, well, I know that Takumi, well, hmm, we'll get there, that's later. Takumi has, like, his own thing where he talks about his backstory. Right. So, yeah. I wonder at it. Right? So, mm. curi so curious. It is. So curious. Um, and so, yeah, Yasu tells him to jump off stage and pull her into his arms, which is totally Hachi's fantasy. Yep. Um, and I feel like, I feel like, I mean, Yasu's just doing it to tease Red. He is, but I'm hoping he's remembering that. that oh, no, that's where it comes from. Absolutely. Okay, good. Oh, Absolutely. Good. Do it for Hachi. Uh, I wish that he do said, do Hachi. it for Hachi. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Who's and Hachi? So, <laughs> right? And Ren is like, I can't do that. <laughs> and then you hear somebody yelling Ren in the bathroom, and it's Takumi. Mm. Is this where you get mad? No, no, okay. I'm mad at him for a... I mean, this part's kind of obnoxious where I'm like, ugh, sir. Let him have a moment. But it's... This kind of feeds you into... You think he has anti-personality disorder? Maybe? I mean, he's... Don't get me wrong. I love him. He's so pretty. He's pushy. He's so pushy. Well, yeah. Uh. I mean, I mean, yeah, he's pushy. He's kind of rapey. So, yeah, those things, like, go... Yeah, they, they do go together. They really go together. Do. They go together. And so he's like, what's with you yelling like that? <laughs> it's not the time to go mad. The concert isn't <laughs> over. He's like, he's like, don't lose your mind in the bathroom. <laughs> don't lose oh. your mind on the toilet. Like, <laughs> but like, seriously, that's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm just like, is he telling him not to lose his mind while he's pooping? Or like, does he think that he's yelling? I don't know, because like, in, in mine, he's like, don't blow your wad, the concert's not over yet. And I'm like, what are you talking what? about? What, are, what do you mean? Do you think he's masturbating right now? That's what that implies, right? Yeah. I've never so... heard blow your wad in reference to, like, <laughs> pooping. So, like... The hell? <laughs> what does Takumi um, do after a good concert? You know what he does. He hooks up with, with chicks. But, like, does he go and masturbate after the concert because, like, he has to do that? Is that why? Maybe, like, th maybe? that's what it would imply if someone assumes that someone else is doing something. It's only because they themselves have done it. I mean, maybe. some Sometimes, I mean, people say they get a high off of being on stage. So, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Takumi. Takumi. <laughs> Bathrooms well, are dirty, friend. Right? That's a headcanon we just came up with for Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Yasuo vs. OnlyFans. <laughs> do it. Let's do it. Oh <laughs> there, my god. It's an, another t-shirt. There's a market. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there is. Oh my god. Oh. I can't. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Do it. We need to, we need another one. A picture of Takumi with just like the so first only fans. <laughs> oh. 
Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> right? Right? Just like, oh, somebody just needs to get on the fan fiction, apparently. Yeah. Yes. I'm giving you so much material. Run with it. <laughs> <laughs> and so Yasu says, go. I'll send the phone number to Nana's friend um, uh, to your cell phone. And Ren is like, huh? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. What do you mean the girl what she's you, here what with? Do you, what do you mean? Yeah, she's not there alone, you idiot. You think that she would do this on her own? You think that she would buy a ticket to see you? Do you really think that? Her pride would let her do that? You don't know her at all. Sorry. No, no, that's <laughs> fair. That's fair. I'm gonna yell at Takumi later, so it's fine. But yeah, like, Nana would never buy a ticket to go see Trapness to see Ren. No. Of course she's there with someone else. He needs to use his brain. <laughs> maybe he is losing his mind on the toilet <laughs> maybe right and so Yasu is like if you want to see Nana call that girl yeah and uh and so the, she, he's like but how can I see her after what I've done <laughs> I hmm. mean it's been a while bro yeah like, how long are you going to wait? So then this part. <laughs> this part, yeah. This part. Uh, Yasu says, I've had enough of you repeating this over and over. I can't listen to it any, or I can't listen to you any longer. If you don't want to see her again, I'll take your place beside her. Yeah, dude. No, do you think he's serious? Let's see. I mean... I think it's a yes and a no. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's serious in this regard, but I do think he is serious within the umbrella umbrella of just wanting to take care of Donna. Yeah, that that makes sense. And that right? like your translation implies like Ren's been like looking about this for a while. Well, yeah, so... he goes and he secret talks to him. Yeah, but it's like, apparently the conversation is like, well, I really want to see her again, but dot, 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 and, you know, it's like a rigmarole. He's like, says it over and over again, you know, so um, <laughs> I no, don't blame like, Yasu for being like, no, I don't yeah. this. <laughs> I think it's, a, that's why I think it's a both end. I think under the umbrella of, like, Yasu, and I also just, I sensationally feel that for Yasu at this point, like, and I think I've kind of talked about this before, that he doesn't require romantic love. Mm. Like, he would be fine in an arranged marriage. True. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, he would because he just takes care of people, so. Exactly, right. Exactly. Doesn't he wouldn't love the person. No, it doesn't mean, he, no, no, no. I mean, people in arranged marriages, so many of them, they fall in love. Mm -hmm. Right? It just takes time. But like, I think that it's kind of that thing. I think he does love Nana. I just, I don't know Yasu's uh, capacity for romantic love specifically. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, Takumi doesn't really have the capacity for, like, romantic love. No. I really do think that they're the mirror image of each other. Yeah. Like, strange mirror on Takumi's part, but, I mean, you know. Well, they're opposites. Yep. Like, if... If Yasu went through the looking glass, he would be Takumi. He'd have hair in it. It would be the opposite. <laughs> right? Oh, God. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, and so then we hear, Ren, well, Ren's face just looks shocked, like, fuck. Um, and then um, there's a big boom, and um, I assume it's Takumi screaming Ren's name again. Yeah, and he's still kicking the, the door. The door, because he stall. thinks that he's going mad in the bathroom. <laughs> Blowing a load. <laughs> right. Let me know in the comments. What is right. your... What do you believe that blowing your load means, really? <laughs> no, I... No, here's the thing. Like, I had... My brain was like, it's gotta be masturbating. But at the same time, I was like... Does he think that he's in there, like, just smoking an entire joint? Like, I mean, there's that part of it. Like, we also have to... Oh, oh I don't want to give any spoilers, but... No, I don't either, but there's... But you know what I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, so, so there's that part of it, too. 
yeah like as far as like substance abuse goes yeah does he think he's you know there's a lot of possibilities right yeah but blowing your load (laughs) 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 don't chew on that for a bit because it's gross but uh (laughs) (laughs) some some solid classy word choices there in the in the viz media translation of takumi i can't imagine takumi actually saying that that's part of my problem here oh okay. i'm like takumi doesn't speak that way (laughs) he's the mature one it's true well i don't know well okay i don't know if i can say that's true because this is gonna sound very uh sexist of me but he's a boy and boys say dirty things yeah i mean boys do talk also different around each other yeah so i'm just like well dude talk okay cool yeah guys are gross they can be yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nate's Nate's not one of them thankfully he's thankfully Thankfully. don't do that so well it's not really a necessity it's just misogyny right (laughs) right and nate is not misogynistic so right yeah nate's a good one um (laughs) So then it says two songs for the encore. Ren didn't even look our way once. Of course he fucking didn't because he didn't want to have to write another new song. And he just blew his load. So like he's fine right now. (laughs) Right? I was like, so are you you not looking their way because you're trying to figure out what you're going to do? Or do you have shame? I think he's like stuck in his head. I think that it's so many whirling emotions at the same time that he just has to focus on the job that he's doing. Otherwise he wouldn't be able to do it at all. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. That part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and so now they're back at home and it's Natsuko and mm-hmm. it's the Hachi's mom. And she's like, good evening. You're probably hungry, right? Dip served. She's so cute. She's so cute. Yeah. And oh, Hachi wow. Is sad. They have two front doors because you want to know what? If they have two front doors like this, that is not what's in the front of their house. No, that's not in the front of their house. It's one door and two panel windows on each side of the door. Yeah. And it doesn't have little windows above it. Huh. Uh-huh. I don't know where they're standing. <laughs> I know. And now my brain is like, wait a second, what do I do with that? <laughs> you you put a pin in it? I put a pin in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there isn't curtains on the doors either. God damn it. Okay. Oh, no. It's like, I want this hot pot. They're having hot pot. Oh, I is love that what that is? Yeah, I love hot pot. I love hot pot so much. Yeah. Yeah, because like, yeah, she's adding like, what, some kind of like sauce or seasoning. And then if you look like yeah. that on the table, like that pot in the middle of the table, that's hot pot. Oh, okay, cool. Because it's a hot pot. Because <laughs> it's a hot pot. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's one of my favorite foods. Um, <clears throat> And so... There's Hachi's dad. Yeah. And he's like, wow, it's still it's still embarrassing to sit with a little cutie like that. Oh. And he's talking about Nana. Uh-huh. Calls what her does your say? Dame. <laughs> That's Foxy Dame. Whoa. <laughs> what? I think I'd prefer little cutie, maybe, over maybe? Foxy Dame. Oh, I don't know. I think I don't know. Both are creepy. Um, and so, and so Nami comes in and she's like, she, she's sitting down and she's laughing and she's like, what are you saying? Dad's stupid pervert. Right. And he's like, what? What about you? What's with the Tarzan outfit? <laughs> it's like, okay. And then I have a little like side note that says, go back to your jungle. Yep. That's what he says in mine too. Uh, and Nana thinks that's really funny. <laughs> well, yeah, because like I okay, okay, okay. It's not funny. But it is. Like it is like in the if you think about like we, the film Tarzan, like Exactly. Tarzan if you don't think films, about like modern PC culture, like if you said no. that aside. Um yeah. because like she is so dark. Yeah. <laughs> and she's wearing a shirt that's like animal print and like cut up. And like barely there. Yeah, it's tied on one shoulder. So And yeah. like in my scan, she's so dark that you can't even really see the details of her face. You could just see her mouth <laughs> that's white. So I mean 
Mm. Yeah, yeah, like it's those considerations should be. <laughs> yeah, but like, I, but like Hachi's kind of embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, she is. I, I just assume her dad said that because he's old enough to have grown up with those like Tarzan. Oh films. yeah, that too. Um, but like, but like, also like saying that he's embarrassed for sitting near a little cutie. Like, <laughs> just say that she's pretty. Don't be creepy about it. Or Foxy Dame. Foxy Dame. <laughs> what even is that? It's like Foxy Lady. You know? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I know. It's still like old man. Just, just don't. How about you? Don't. <laughs> don't. Um. And so, like in in a thought box, it says, "I felt like I was waking up from a dream. I was somber, as if someone had just made me realize." that Ren would forever stay a superstar, impossible to reach. Mm -hmm. Who do you think thought that? Hachi? I think? Like, a part of me is like, Nana could also think that. That's true. She's, like, flipping through the magazines and... Mm -hmm. But she's and, never uh... in the thought boxes. I'm, I'm, like, so certain that Nana is telling the story from the future past. Yeah, I mean, I think we do get uh, Nana thought boxes in later volumes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So it could it could be her, especially because Hachi's not in the room right now. So that's true. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um. And then she's like looking at Rira. Well, first she's looking at Ren, then she's looking at Rira, mm -hmm. and um, she's smoking in that bedroom again. Yep. <laughs> and. <laughs> And then Hachi comes in and Nana closes the book like she's not looking at it, which I think is funny. Right. Um, she isn't looking. Mm -mm. Right. Exactly. I don't know. Um, and Hachi took a bath and she's like, oh, it felt so good. You should take a bath too. I left a towel out for you. And so she goes to take a bath and then she's like blow drying her hair and doing the things and then she goes to her phone and realizes that she left her cell phone off and that mm -hmm. she has one new message yeah and it's from yasu and it says con okay note note please it says confidential <laughs> it does note the fact that it says confidential <laughs> <laughs> And then she's like, Yasu? That's rare. What's up? And the, and the, the message says, Ren may call your cell phone. I'm counting on you. Yeah. See, I, that's why I think that Yasu said that to Ren to push him. Yeah. No, I, for sure. So what is the date timestamp on your Oh, Hachi it's May 26th. Oh, okay. Mine is completely wrong. Thursday. Mine says January 5th. Where's like my it's, timeline? It's like 01, 05, 01. And I'm like, wait, what? No, 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 no. 05, oh. No, 05 first. Oh, no. Mine is 01 wait, oh, first. 01? Mm -hmm. 01, 05, what? Uh, 2001. 2001. Yeah. That's weird. Oh. Because, I know, right? Like, they, no, because they, no, because they don't even meet until March. I know, that's why I was like, hold, hold on a second. Like, hold the phone. Especially because in my, um, in the messages received, Ryasu says, it says 5 slash 26. And then when she opens up the message, it is all of a sudden January the 5th, 2001. And I'm like... It's Excuse weird because me? mine says 260501, which is the 26th of um, May in 2001. Huh. <clears throat> That's annoying. Yeah, it was, it was strange. I was like, no wonder getting the timeline has been so confusing. Right? I'm like, wait a second. No, Don't mess I'm with like... the Oswald time. It's very delicate. Right? We're going to have riffs. We're going to have riffs. It's already hard enough. Right? I was like, did we time travel? We did. To a do I think I can. This media tried to time travel, and it caused a rift in the, in, in the Oswaverse time-space continuum. It did. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
Where... Well, it's like these four people thinking that Coco Joe is like new. Right? No, no, for real. This is, you know what? This is the the text message that started it all. This is it. <laughs> this is <good>. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined everything. Found the rift. Found the rift. And it's why all the things that happened at the end of the story happened. Yeah. I'm going to think about that now. <laughs> oh, good. oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> um. So, Hachi gets that message from Yasu, which said confidential, and then busts into the bathroom, <laughs> and Nana's in the bathtub. Yep. <laughs> and she's, and Nana's like, hey, you, why, why do you keep just coming in? Like that while someone's taking a bath. Are you a voyeur? Yeah, this is like the second time she's done this. So. I know. <laughs> and she's like, because it's urgent. <laughs> Another murder story? No, look <laughs> at this. It's a message from Yasu. Honey, it was confidential. Right? He said confidential. She doesn't know what that means. No, no, nope, mm-mm, nope. Puppy. So oh, she... So she right. So she gives it yeah. So she gives it to Nana to read. And then she's like, I'm sorry, Nana. I forgot to turn my cell phone back on. Uh, you know, since we all had to turn them off at the concert hall, it's past midnight. Maybe he's already tried to call. And Nana's like, What does this mean? Why, Yasu? And Hachi's like, I don't know. Maybe he gave Ren his cell phone number. But Ren didn't give any news, right? Oh god, I don't understand anything. But what will we do? <laughs> and then Nana just stands up and Hachi freaks out. Yep, she's like, naked girl. Right, but what do you... Yeah, but... Right. <laughs> so much for a relaxing bath. Right? That's over. <laughs> I mean, she couldn't... A, it said confidential. <laughs> Okay, that means secret, Hachi. It means it's a secret. Okay. It's a secret. She could have let Nana take her bath and call Yasu. Nope. Freak out. What is just puppy. Yep. And so Nana tells her to call Yasu. So she does, and he's like, Yes. And she's like, Hello, Yasu, it's me. Okay. Again, though, we're going to go back to one of my early pet peeves. You will announce your name every time that you answer your phone, but you will not say who you are when you call other people. Nope. <laughs> like, oh, come on. It's just how she, uh, that's how her phone etiquette works. It's that's so just... funny. It's so funny. <laughs> um, and so, like, Yasu is with, is with, um... Nobu and Shin at yes. Nobu's place, I think? Yes. And yeah. my page froze. I gotta reload it. Oh, no. There we go. Um, and so, let's see. Oh, Nanachan, did Ren call you? Sorry about giving him your number without asking. And she's like, it's okay, but what do I do? I forgot to turn my phone back on. <laughs> and he goes, huh. <laughs> Huh. huh. <laughs> right? I mean, maybe you should warn people if you're gonna, like, pull them in on the charades. <laughs> maybe a little. Right? So she's like, do you think you already tried to call? And Yasu's like, check the call history. Right? He has to, like, okay, walk it back, Hachi. Look at your phone. Look and she's at... like, history? <laughs> oh, right? yeah. I'm what checking. <laughs> I mean, uh, it is like the early days of cell phones, so like. It, I mean, it is, but like Yasu's face in the next panel is very much like, okay, did you do that, honey? Oh, right, okay. Right. Do you do you got this? Do you know where to find it? Do right? I need to walk you through the steps? <laughs> it's under and she's missed like, calls. <laughs> right, under missed calls, right? And she's like, "There's nothing." Uh, so he hasn't called, and he's like, "Oh, what's he doing?" What do you mean? What's he doing? <laughs> he's not calling because he's freaking out. Because he's, he's blowing his on... wad. <laughs> he's blowing his wad. <laughs> he's going mad in the bathroom. He's going mad in the bathroom. That's what he's doing. What does that mean? I don't know. 
Um, and he's like, but if you wait, he should end up calling. And she's like, really? And he's like, definitely. I provoked him a little. Mm-hmm. And so or, then yeah, he lit he a fire did. under his butt. He lit a fire so under his under his going mad in the bathroom butt. <laughs> yeah, no, for, for and you know what? Because like Nana's the next person to like say she, in mind. She's like, cut the crap, Baldy. I'm like, did she hear him just say that? Like that that he. Oh well, yeah, she's probably him. listening. Yeah. Oh. No, she's well, yeah, dead. and depending on what the volume is of the cell phone. True. And I can hear most conversations, even when people's volume is down. That's because you have spidey senses. I do. I do. <laughs> um, I have really good hearing. In mind, she says, stop joking around, idiot. And then he's like, um, oh, she heard that. <laughs> right? Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> he had, like, has his phone kind of pulled away mm-hmm. um, and she's like uh, Nana says I don't know what you've told Ren but you don't need to butt in I don't have anything left to say to him and here we go mm-hmm. I think he's just trying I think, that, I think that he knows that they are meant to be together on some level but if they're not going to do it then they need to both let go for their own good yeah right and that yeah. they're kind of being children about it. Yeah, he's a babysitter right now. He's a babysitter of everybody. That's true. Just like in this moment, I, in, I have this mental image of him like hurting two toddlers. Like, okay, right. like, give her the, you know, give it's like, her the squeaky toy. It's like when when Junko and Yasu made the Nana's bow. Yeah, exactly. Like, or, yeah, it's like that. It's like that. <laughs> Except like, he's like holding the tops of their heads and they're like both running from each other and running towards <laughs> each other at the same time and he's like holding them up so their legs are just kicking yes exactly <laughs> he's like okay like okay let's settle down now right <laughs> um and so what he tells her is he's the one who called me because he realized you were in the concert hall all i did was give him the phone number if you have nothing left to tell him, tell him in person. Mm-hmm. You know the apartment key from where you live together and the key to the lock around Ren's neck? If you don't want them anymore, all you have to do is throw them away. Mm-hmm. Then it will really be over. Put yourself in his place for a bit. Prisoner of the memory of a woman he'll never be able to embrace again. See, that's why I'm like, no, he he wants them to yeah. be together. He does. Yeah. We all do. We all we all do. We all do. We all want that. Um, and she's like, all right, I get it. But she looks hurt. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you interesting you translate that as hurt. I see it as like a I'm processing, I know you're right, and I'm like okay. No, she's fine. been called out. She is being he stung. Out. He's stung with a little scorpion tail. Which is he funny because he's feels. wearing it. Yeah, he did. But he, the, you notice the ring that he's wearing actually has like a scorpion decal on it. And so he needs Scorpio. He needs he needs Scorpio placements. Yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't <laughs> surprise me. <laughs> they mm. do. They get you. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. My Mars is in Scorpio. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's, that's why, like, when I actually get annoyed with people, I say things that kind of sting me. Yeah. It takes like, a build-up, but when it happens, it's very yeah. planned out, but not intentionally planned out, but it is. Um, it just so, builds up. Yeah. It's so sad for the burn, because it's coming. <laughs> I mean, it happens. True. Um, <laughs> but that's, that's kind of, like, just Scorpio energy in general. Is like yeah. think about how like a scorpion hunts it like circles and stings, right? Mm-hmm. So, but it does it always, and it takes a lot of time in doing it, mm-hmm. unless it's really hungry or domestic. Um, <laughs> I'm like, or this, or that. Okay, <laughs> let's go on a Scorpio tangent. <laughs> um, and she's like, all right, I get it. And they're like, do they even? They didn't even make it out of the bathroom. Mm-mm. They're no, still in the bathroom. Yeah, they're just in the bathroom. And I thought this was kind of interesting, too, um, 
we have this shot of um Hachi looking very in the city? like yeah, in the city. <laughs> just just looking right. Outside? She's in the city. Outside and in her pajamas. Yeah. And she she just is kind of like looking at her like uh it's it kind of reminds me of the uh the moment with Shoji when Shoji was all like, Okay, like can we talk? And it didn't stay on Hachi's face, it went to Nana's face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, with absolutely. Like, with like a big boy decision moment. Mm hmm And the concern for your friend in love. Mm hmm Yeah, definitely. Um, I agree. It is a, it is the same it is the same like kind of worried, kinda hopeful, like in you know what I mean? Like Yeah, you're just yeah. The the, the st the, you're just standing there. I mean, the whole time she's just standing there like, what's she going to do? What's she going to do? Uh-huh. Yeah. What's up? So Nana says, give me Ren's number. I'm the, I'm the kind who waits, or I'm not the kind who waits patiently. Mm -hmm. And so then we're to Ren. He's no, looking yeah, at the phone number. Mm -hmm. It's from Yasu. And he's like, congrats. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he reads it. And it's Nana's, which... Not a just, and then phone number. Yeah. yeah. And how so does he he's not like process dating. it? Yeah. Like well, he's thinking about it. True. He's but thinking it, about it. Yeah. But it doesn't even cross his mind. Like maybe it does, where he's just like, oh, the girl she's with is also Nana. That's weird. Yeah, no, he's oh oh yeah, I didn't think about that part. Yeah, I'm just like he sees it and then he doesn't even like think of like doesn't take it in. He's just like, Well, what do I do? Right. Also, though, remember, one of their names is spelled with kanji and one with hatakana. And so, oh, true. you know, it looks different, so it wouldn't be the same. True. Mm. Same sounds, different letters, different alphabet. True. Um, I guess maybe. Eh. Yeah, but I think I he's that. obviously, like, he's looking at it and he's contemplating. And so I'm guessing we also, like, maybe he just got to the apartment. Mm -hmm. you know and so like he's like revisiting it and debating it and thinking about it and you know what i mean like how that happens mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like i know i have to do this but like i need the courage sort of deal yep and then he's thinking to himself i'll take i'll take your place beside her if you don't want to see her again mm. and then it's he's laying in the bed smoking he's gonna catch it on fire and <laughs> There's a ring at the bell. At the the bell. There's a ring at the bell. There's a ring at the bell. Yeah. And the door opens, and someone says "Ren," and it's Rira. Rira. It's Rira. She's so cute. She's so cute. Um, and she's like, "What are you smoking? <laughs> Give me some." And he's like, "It's tobacco." And so then she sniffs it, and she's like, "Oh yeah, too bad. I can't sleep." <laughs> so here was my thing. Mm -hmm. when, she, when she leans in and she's like sniffing, I'm mm -hmm. like foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. What part? The sniffing. It's like she's I think she's like she's really trying to see if it is tobacco or if it smells like something else. Oh no, she's no, I don't think that's foreshadowing. I think like she's actually smelling because she says eh, too bad, I can't sleep. Hmm. She wanted it to be weed. Hmm. That's that's fair. Somebody but she says too one. bad. I can't right. sleep. True. Someone give this poor girl weed so she can sleep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um. And it says so. I'm gonna play cards in Takumi's room. You wanna? Are you coming? And he's like cards again. And she's like, yep. Uh, Shichi Narabi again. And That's that game, sevens? it's sevens, yeah. Yeah. It's like sevens. Mm-hmm. Not the same as, but I guess it's like it. I looked it up. I'm sure you did, too. Um, I didn't because mine just says sevens. Oh, just, okay. So like, yeah, it, like, sevens. I looked it up, and it listed, like, four different games that it's similar to. Oh, okay. And sevens was one of them. But the other ones, I was like, I don't know what those games are. <laughs> so. <laughs> um. Let's see. And she's like, and to think we call ourselves rock stars. And it's we're like, playing it's... cards. How lame. <laughs> and so now he's like laughing hysterically. Mm -hmm. This part's really cute in the anime. Because she really yeah. does like pout about it. Yeah, but also. But it's her humor. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a side note for them. Like, I'm just going to say this with the first meeting of Trap Nest. I love the friendship that these two have. They do have a friendship. They, they do. do. They do. But it also goes way back. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, she sniffs the air because essentially she wants it to be weed. And, um, guys, they're just, like, siblings. Stop it. Yeah, they're just... They're they just they're, they're besties. Like best, they're like besties, and it's super cute because Rira needs a genuine friend. She does need a genuine friend, like she really does. It's got to be lonely. Yeah, I mean we know that it's lonely. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so she's trying to convince him to go play cards, to play sevens specifically, and um, let's see. And he's like, no. And she I'm, pouts. I'm good. She like makes a joke. I love her humor though. Like her humor <laughs> is great. Um, it is. It's very. Good. It is. It's it's good humor. It's good humor. It's very fitting for her personality. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's like, "I'll be okay. I'll pass. Mm -hmm. I'm a rocker." He he. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, "Hey, come. It's no fun without you because Takumi, Naoki, and Taki Chan all suck. <laughs> uh, they aren't worth being my opponents. It isn't fun when I always win. And she's like actually like upset. Like she's like, come on. Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh please, please. And he's like, sorry, I'm dead tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Lies. Lies. You're not tired. You're not gonna, tired. He's gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> Lies. And she's like, fine. Right. And then he says, Rira, your voice sounds kind of scratchy. You okay? Mm -hmm. And she's like, we have to do our best. Only 16 concerts left. It's so many. It's so many. With two hour sets? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's why Mariah Carey doesn't talk. Yeah. Um, well, you're and Julie really... Andrews doesn't talk. Yeah, it's why you're not. I mean, yes, that for sure. But also like when you're doing like performances and stuff like you're mm -hmm. not actually supposed to speak right like when you're off stage like I learned that when I went to like a I did this like hardcore like vocal camp thing and mm -hmm. that was like the pet peeve of everyone but of course I'm like most of the people that are here are like 16 like 14 and 16 oh. year old girls and boys like they're going to talk like yeah it's, just, it's how they right yeah I used to like, I used to go to voice camp yeah, yeah. Um, so like, I mean, speak. like, we didn't really have time to talk. <laughs> uh, I mean, you. I would say that that's true, but uh, most of the, you know, after we do all the things, like the girls that. Oh I yeah, like at dinner. Yeah, yeah, like dinner time and like in our rooms at night, like the girls yeah. just want to like unwind because they're like they're teenagers and that's what they yeah. do, and I think that that's fine, but it would piss off our. Um, uh, the mother hen uh, mm. who was running the whole thing. She would just, you know. That's she'd so, be like, but when you're young, I don't, yeah, we were never told not to talk. But like, yeah. we also, we like, were. yeah, we were never told not to talk at our retreats. Um, but like, it was also like, we really didn't have the time and we were so exhausted by the end of the day. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, I am surprised that she's talking. Um, I will say that. Yeah, that's a big tour. Um, but doesn't that come up again? I think it comes mm, up again. It, or maybe it, it just, might. It, does, it might, or it just does in the anime. Yeah. Um, that's why she needs weed so she can go to bed so she won't talk. She, right. Yeah. So she can go to sleep. <laughs> even though it's like, isn't it super illegal in Japan? <laughs> like really illegal? <laughs> it might be. Um, <laughs> but so he closes the door. Like he like smiles at her because like she's so positive. Mm -hmm. to like up front wordly anyway and like yeah. i think he like they know that they they know um and so yeah. he closes the door and he goes and lays in bed and now his phone is actually ringing because mm -hmm. there's little music notes and he doesn't answer for like a full minute well yeah <laughs> he's tired sure sure he's tired he just and so he, he answers and he's like he doesn't even look at the phone he says who is it and she's like, Nana. <laughs> okay, so I imagine, because he like starts coughing, I imagine that he actually like almost swallowed his cigarette. 
That's no, what I totally imagined did. in my head. No, I think he totally did. It's like he was so shocked and he's laying down that like the cigarette fell into his mouth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And also he didn't have his hand on it too. So he was probably uh -huh. like, and then it went. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that's, that's what I assume happened is like yeah. he like almost swallowed a lit cigarette. Yeah. Um, and, and so now he he's died. just like. <laughs> that's the end of his story. He that's the end. Cigarette. That's the end of his story. It's over. That's... Have a good day. Thanks for being here. Praise the demon lord. Right. Goodbye forever. Goodbye forever. <laughs> so he's dying coughing. And Nana's like, you seem healthy. Glad you're doing all right. While he's coughing. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he's just like quiet. And she's like, I have some things to tell you. So can we see each other really fast? And he's like in shock still. And he's like, yeah. And she's like, where are you? And he's like, in my hotel room. And she's like, are you alone? And he's like, yeah. And then she's like, would it be bad for me to come by? And he's like, no. <laughs> I imagine it happening. Like, like, she's just like barking off these points. Yeah. And he's just like responding. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. Are you alone? Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. alone. All alone. Brain is not functioning. <laughs> so Brain she's has like, if you prefer to see me somewhere else, tell me where. And he's like, no. <laughs> mm, it's ugly no. out there. In fact, not even sure about being allowed to go out. And she's like, fine. Then I'll, I'm coming. Yeah. And he like, like looked out the window too. So yeah, he checked. Yeah. He totally checked. Mm -hmm. Um, and so she's like, which hotel room is it? And then we're in a cab and we're mm -hmm. going to the hotel. That is, that is the, the name of the hotel is hotel. Is hotel. <laughs> so clever. I know. She gets out of the cab. She looks so cool. Okay. She's wearing the same thing as earlier, but her shirt is a blank tank top now. Mm -hmm. So she pretty much brought a shirt. <laughs> she did. She's yeah. still technically in her Nana jeans. disguise? Nana disguise. Yep. Yeah. Her glasses, her jeans. It's totally her Nana disguise. Um, no, she still no. looks like so cool. Yeah, no, she looks she looks great. I'm just wondering how the groupies didn't like Oh no, they oh no. They noticed. They, they did, but they didn't they didn't Oh they noticed. Move. Oh they noticed. Well yeah. They're watching. That's true. They don't know who she is. They well, I mean, it's obvious. But like they're just watching, but you can, it's like, they're quiet. Mm -hmm. It says, pss, pss, and then there's dot, 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 because they noticed her and they're just like, huh? Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. They're quiet. She's not famous. They don't recognize her, but they're still going to like speculate now. Yeah. But I mean, she did. I thought she got through like pretty slick, like, eh, yeah, just walk in there like you own the joint. Yeah. They don't know who she is yet though. No. Um, but yeah, they're, they're thinking. Yeah. Right. They're going to come up with theories like as soon as she walks in. Mm -hmm. Who was that? What is what's going on? Who was that? You know? Yeah. She's she's wearing. I don't know. She was kind of punkish. So no, she looks cool. Yeah. She looks yeah, she always cool. looks famous. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of her thing. She's born looking famous. Yeah. Mm hmm. She's born to be a star. Mm -hmm. um, and so she's thinking to herself, so many fans after them. Their hotel isn't a secret anymore. Impossible to get out. <laughs> um and so she like looks at the keys in her hand both of them mm -hmm. and gets on an elevator and it says nana is going to see ren again i wonder what she'll do and what she intends to say mm -hmm. um hachi's in bed yeah it's hachi Thank back you. in her place just thinking thinking yeah. She's in bed, not able to sleep. Oh, I wouldn't sleep either. Like, I know. I, I would not. I like if I was hot. Surprised she's not fantasizing with like bloody noses everywhere. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I think she's too worried to to go that far. Well, yeah, she's like Nana's so headstrong. It's worrying me. Mm -hmm. It's worrying me so much that I can't sleep. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So she makes it upstairs. And goes to walk out of the elevator to, he's on floor 28. Mm -hmm. And then there's a dude yeah. standing there. And she's like, good evening. And he smiles. 
And then he looks suspicious because she goes walking off and he's like, hey, you, are you Steph? Let me see your pass. And she's like, oh, yeah, my pass. It's really a hassle to have to show my pass in the hotel. <laughs> and he's like, I've never seen her. A pretty girl like that. I wouldn't have forgotten her. Suspicious stare. Suspicious stare. Oh, good. Because in mine, it says ogle. I'm like, don't, don't you ogle. Oh, <laughs> uh, yuck. Yuck. <laughs> don't ogle. <laughs> and then she's like, I think I've forgotten it in my room, heart. I'll bring it. <laughs> and he's like, this area is forbidden to the public. Can you imagine how annoying it is for the band members to be harassed by fans like you? And she's like, I'm not a fan. Right? Like, how dare you? I'm mm -hmm. not a fan. And then Ren steps in, mm -hmm. holds him by the shoulder, and is like, I'm the one who called this girl. Mm -hmm. Let her pass with a little heart. Uh-huh. Here. He gives him a coffee? He gives him a canned coffee. Yeah, he gives him canned coffee so he can stay <laughs> He's awake. Like, here, keep quiet, okay? I'm like, the canned coffee is like a dollar <laughs> from a vending machine. Yeah, um, but this this kid gets all like blushy, like, oh, hey, oh, yeah. hi. It's the famous guy. Maybe mm -hmm. he won't drink it. He'll like be like, Ren, Ren gave me this. Puts uh -huh. it on like his weird shelf. Yeah. Well, you know, Ren is also very pretty, so it's like... He's very oh. pretty, and he's very famous. Mm-hmm. And he's like, ah, so that was it. Sorry. And right. Ren, like, dislocates Nana's arm. <laughs> he does. Dislocates her arm running down the, ho the hotel hallway. Yeah. And she's like, what? Like... She looks sad behind her glasses. Her oh, eyebrows. Yeah, she's like, it's like, oh, it's you. It's you and again. Like, he's moving really fast. Uh huh. And puts the card in the little reader and pulls her into the hotel and slams the door. And she's just standing there. And then she's like, you're quite well guarded. Sorry, I shouldn't have come. And then he looks over at her. And he, like, collapses into her. Mm-hmm. And her super cool Kiyosuke glasses go flying. Yes. And she's like, Ren, let me go. I have absolutely no intention of starting over with you. And he's like, I wanted to see you so badly. And then, like, it hits her. Like, stabbed in the heart. And she starts crying. Mm-hmm. And, like, leans into him. And he's just holding her. Yeah. And she's crying. And she's like, I shouldn't have come. And now she's holding him back. Hmm. And then there's a tick of a, a talk, a talk of a mahjong piece. <laughs> <laughs> and Shin is like, you're a genius, Yasan. Okay. Okay. So. Is this the emotional part? I mean, I think that those, those last two pages are just very emotional. They are. Well, I just mean... like, yeah, the look on his face and, and the way he's just like. Yeah, literally collapsing in, into her, like, I lo you know, I've missed you so much. And, you know, like you said, their feelings are so big. Big. Their feelings are so big. And I feel like, you know, he's kind of, like, trapped in his fame. And she's kind of like a wild animal. I mean, she is often de described as, like, an alley cat. But, like, mm -hmm. um, and not wanting to, like hold her back is so much of it and giving her her room and her space and i think that she doesn't really see how much room and space the people who love her give her nope i don't think so right and like yeah. we can really see this here mm -hmm. because like she's just fighting it so hard like she's fighting her actual feelings yeah and i'm like stop it <laughs> right like you can make it work yeah just and the tears, and I'm just mm -hmm. like, oh, honey. I don't know. Every single time I see this panel, I just want to hug Nate. That's all I want. Every time I revisit these two panels, I just as soon, like, I stayed up until Nate came home. So mm -hmm. I, could, I could hug him just because mm -hmm. I just hurt. I don't know what hurts it because I'm just like, don't fight the things, woman. <laughs> I mean, I think that there's a lot of to it, like, like a lot to it, though, because they are young and yeah. like, and, like, she is stubborn. She is hard-headed. 
Yep. Um, yep. She wants the things. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's very much this thing where it's, like, he knows that. He doesn't want to get in her way. Mm-hmm. But she's not reading it that way because nobody fucking talks. <laughs> Yeah. Because nobody talks. No. Yes, he's the only one that talks <laughs> and pays attention. <laughs> and holds all the secrets. All the secrets and all the space. Go to Yasan. Yeah. Yeah. So Shin says, you're a genius, Yasan. Mm-hmm. Uh, with Nana's character having heard what you said, the only thing she can do is give the keys back to Ren. But if she gives the keys back, won't it really be over? And Nobu says, yeah, but if she really wanted it to be over between them, she wouldn't have gone to see him in person. Mm. And then Shin says, as soon as they have a reason to see each other, they act like a man and a woman and do it. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) That's what that means. Yep. That's, I mean, he's blunt in mind. He's like, they just need an excuse to get together and do it again. And Nobu's face is like... (laughs) <laughs> Why you gotta put it like that? Right? She's, he's like, Shin, we don't care about that. You've been really impertinent lately. Oh, he calls, in one, he calls him a cheeky monkey. <laughs> Which I think is cute. Uh, cute. He's like, stop fooling around. And he's like, ah, Ron. Right. I, don't know what that, I don't know what that means. I think that's what you say in uh, Mahjong. It's like a, like a... Oh, he won? Yeah, yeah. He's okay. Like... Oh, he's like, did I win? <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, Ron! And then, yeah, and then Yasu's okay. like, oh, he's good. <laughs> oh, Yasu and, in my, or Yasu and mine says, uh, he's strong. He's strong. <laughs> he's strong. Uh, and he's like, oh, idiot, you tricked me, Nobu. <laughs> yeah. You're really, really mean. And <laughs> Shin's like, Mahjong is fun. We should play with the four players next time. Does Nana know how to play? He's like, not even caring. <laughs> no, he's Nobu's so like, happy. So Nobu's so sad. Yeah, Nobu's sad, but yeah, Shin's over there like, hey, I won. Can we play again? And with more people. I'm excited right? to kick more ass. <laughs> right? And Yasu's like, yeah, we used to play with Ren a lot. Uh... And Nobu's like, yeah, as if we could even call Ren next time. And Yasu's like, huh? If he has some time, yeah. Because nobody knows about their secret secrets. Right? Their secrets. like, seriously, I can meet Ren? That'd be great. I want to see him again, too, you know, said Nobu. Yeah, I mean, sneaky, 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 sneaky Yasu. Yeah, but also this this part, like, I don't know, it makes me happy. Oh, because yeah. Because I'm no. like, oh, you're like gonna, you're gonna text your friend. I mean, mm-hmm. it's the time is, has been, yes, do that. Yes, thank you. Right? Nobu says it isn't fair that only Yasan sees him. <laughs> Both of them secretly plot things, and I'm always left out. And Yasu says, Ren doesn't have the courage to see you. Mm, he nobody did. Yeah. He feels like crap. Yes. Like, yes. to make the choice is hard. Mm-hmm. We're coming to the part where I'm mad at Takumi. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So then Nobu is quiet, and Shin says, that's what I thought. He wants to forget Blast. And Yasu says, in the beginning, he refused Trap Nest's offer, so Takumi contacted him. And I'm the one who convinced Ren. That's where I'm mad. Like, I'm going to yell at Takumi. So, you know, in mind, he's like, at first he turned down Trap Nest's offer. Then Takumi called me up and I convinced Ren to do it. And I'm like, Takumi, if Ren told you no, that's a whole fucking sentence, my guy. You don't then call the other guy to be like can you please please convince him because he said no to me i know he won't say to no no to you like yeah that is manipulative i um, don't like it and it makes but me isn't angry. also like business arrangements always manipulative yeah because that's yeah. what it is i know but i just yeah he didn't I'm... accept but i mean oh. i think that chikumi and 
forgive me for defending Takumi. Um, <laughs> the one time you're going to do it. It probably. Um, <laughs> like, in that regard specifically, Takumi is business minded first, has nothing to do with anybody's relationships, and it has everything to do with business. Oh, I know. But it's also all for his benefit, too. But still, Ren said no. Said no. Yeah. And it's Takumi kind of like. It. I mean, I kind of, but like, I guess, I guess, like, I guess, like this, because I don't see it as like personal friendships or relationships in that. I see it like if a record studio still wants to try to negotiate with someone who turned down an offer. Mm, that's how yeah. I see it, right? No, that's, yeah, that's fair. No, I, I, I can totally see that. It's, it's just, I don't know. Maybe for me, it gets muddied because they did know each other for so long, yeah. and it's just like you have a real problem with the word no. Dude. Oh yeah, no. Takumi doesn't accept no for an answer. I know, and we that's know a problem. <laughs> we, yeah, he's we extremely do. abusive because he will not accept no for an answer from anybody. Yeah, and it's all for it's. It really is only for Takumi's benefit. It is. Like, a it is. I mean, yeah. And I think that that's very. But I feel like selfish. for Takumi's benefit, but by proxy, Takumi takes care of Rira in that way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, that's his like angel princess. So mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I get it. I know what you're doing it. And I think it's the best things... way that he knows how to take care of people. <laughs> yeah, if he's the Yasu mirror. Well, it's not as good as how Yasu takes care of people. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think that Takumi's got to be like a sociopath or something. Maybe. Maybe I don't think he bit. understands like the emotions of other people at all. No, I don't think. Mm -mm, I don't think mm -mm. he does. That's mm -mm. What, and then yeah. Again, I know Takumi is. I give him a lot of leeway because he's pretty, but <laughs> but in this regard, I've I've always been very upset about it because I'm just like said no, and you didn't listen. And if you had just listened, we wouldn't be here. Right. So. Yeah. Anyway, that's my that's my rant. But we also uh, wouldn't be here. I know. I know we also wouldn't, like, be here, here, but... We wouldn't have a story. We wouldn't have a story. We this wouldn't just... have all the feels. That is true. Because you need all the controversy for the feels. Like, I was telling somebody about Anna the other day, and I was like, the love triangles are actually believable. Mm-hmm. Like, because I was, I saw some, I saw some thing... I think it was like a TikTok or something, probably, and it was about how like mm -hmm. in Twilight, their love triangles are so not believable because they're not because it's camp. Twilight is camp. If you think that it's not, go away. But um, <laughs> but like, and then I was like, yeah, but like Yazawa knows how to write a believable y love triangle. Mm -hmm. So there's that. <laughs> I like what Megan says. She said, it's not a love triangle. It's two arrows pointing to one selfish person. And oh. Like, hey. Whoa. Right? I'm like, that's so true. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah? Yeah. I guess I never thought of that. I didn't either. That's what was like, oh. yes. Girl, yes. Watchy. Yeah, <laughs> she's getting it from all sides. <laughs> like they don't even know that they're talking about her, right? <laughs> oh goodness! Oh, no. <laughs> um, let's see. Where were we? Okay, so we're mad at Takumi for being I sneaky. <laughs> I we're mad at Takumi. We're mad at Takumi again. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. That was my. Sorry. Yeah. That was my whole. My if whole the story thing. had a villain, it would be Takumi. Yeah, that's probably true. And I, again, see, like, yeah, she wrote feelings. I'm having feelings because I'm like, dude, he he said no and he didn't listen. And that's a fucking problem. Well, yeah, like, Takumi is problematic. Takumi is the most problematic character in this entire series. Yeah. Hands down. Mm -hmm. Hands down. Hands down. And, like, not even just a little bit, but, like, surpasses the finish line. <laughs> yeah, he's got things. He's got lots. We should make like a counter, like Ooh. a little, like, like how many times has Takumi been problematic? Well, this is number one. Is it? Is it only the first time? Well, the first time we're seeing because he's introduced. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Introduced. Okay, so we're at number one. Takumi, yeah. Takumi one. Everybody else, zero. Everybody else, zero. <laughs> everybody else, every time that Takumi gets a little dash, everybody else gets a negative dash. 
<laughs> oh no, negative hit points. I don't want those. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, yeah, but sometimes it's even more than just a one for Takumi. Sometimes it's like many. Yeah, that's why we'll have to keep the counter. So. Okay. <laughs> He's the villain. I've decided. Um, He's so the bad guy. <laughs> Duh. He <laughs> it's too far. Uh, hold on. I think we need a nanopod, a nanopod TikTok. Yeah. Like specifically, we can just make memes to sounds. Right. I'm the bad guy. Duh. Right. Duh. And it's Takumi. It's Takumi. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, I, mean, I, wrote I, can... it down. I wrote the thing down. <laughs> okay, good. I'm like, I can even do that on my page because oh my, my page is just nonsense and I don't mind oh, it being nonsense. Man. No, I can just make one for Nonopod. <laughs> like, just make an account. Okay. <laughs> I'm the bad guy. And then it's done. It's like, Oh my God. It's so good. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so I think Yasu is saying this, but he must consider himself a horrible traitor, right? Or maybe it's Nobu saying it because it's in Nobu's panel. I don't know. Nobu looks thinky face. He does look thinky face. Like he looks sad though too. Mm -hmm. They're always so sad all the time. <laughs> My God. Yeah, that's what he has. Like the oh, I didn't realize he felt that way. Yeah, yeah. Well, also didn't realize. Yeah, but didn't Ren realize that, like Takumi meddled. He did, and he did. Oh my! But also, I still do believe that it was the right choice for Red. Yeah, I mean, you're you're not necessarily wrong, but I'm still gonna be mad. <laughs> but it also, like, I mean, the reason that they're so hurt is because it does show that Ren didn't believe in their band. Yep. Also, he Ren didn't believe that they'd be as successful as they can be. Yeah, and Ren's bad at communication aren't they all i mean yeah but ren especially it's like oh yeah well ren and nana anyway. both mm -hmm. he didn't tell nobu like hey man i'm you know um yeah he well he but like he didn't want to hurt nobu's feelings i know because he's soft see boy. yasu was already involved because yasu is like the business manager mm -hmm. and takumi's the business manager the yeah. adults talked the adults talked. <laughs> no but that's what happened the adults talked I know they, d I know they did, but it was mostly the Takumi. Like, will you please tell your son that he wants this? Like, right? No, you... yeah, right, mm. yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's very much a thing. But I do think that Ren made a good choice for him in the time. Yeah. Um, but I can also see the other side where it's like he didn't believe in them. He didn't mm -hmm. believe that they were more than just a small town band. Yeah. Um, and it is a big risk, you know. Yeah. And he was given an opportunity that wasn't a risk, that was already established. Mm -hmm. um, now, something that I don't understand is why he couldn't still do both. And um, that part doesn't make sense to me because a lot of bands are in multiple bands. Yeah. He'd be so um, tired. So tired. Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. He'd be exhausted. It would have to work with the schedule. But even there's like, there are famous people in bands in other bands that are famous. Mm hmm Right? I so mean, like, that's a yeah. contract thing. Yeah, he could do both. I don't think Takumi would ever allow. No, that's it. what I mean, though. That's part of like the the deal. Yeah, because like he, yeah, yeah, that's a whole other thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, so Nobu said it's not worth getting so worked up over the past. It's not like him, and or does? Yeah, he's yeah, Nobu like, says that. Yeah, yeah okay. Because Yasu, yeah, Yasu says, but Ren is like that. I wonder if he'll be able to get into stardom since he's so clumsy. It's worrying me. Mm. Mm-hmm. Does yeah. yours say that he's clumsy? No, he's he pretty much tells he's like, uh, you know, Ren is like that. I'm sure sensitivity doesn't help in the world of major labels. I'm mm. worried. Mm. Okay. Yeah, he's sensitive. Yeah. yeah, like he's, well, I mean, even right now, he's finding himself in a very sticky situation mm -hmm. um because a lot of like j-pop and k-pop artists like they're not allowed to be in relationships it's part of their contract yep 
Um, and so Nobu's like, oh, well, too bad. I'll send him a mail. I'll send him a mail <laughs> invitation to Mahjong tournament. <laughs> Shin is like, yippee. He's such a little kid. I love it. I know. So <laughs> and Yossi's like, he'll probably cry tears of joy. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, you dick. <laughs> that was so dry. It was so dry. But like, that's the thing is like, he's, yeah, if, like, even right now, what's happening in the story, like, these are things that could ultimately ruin his career. And so it ends up going on that decision of him saying no. Right? Mm -hmm. And that the thing that um, he walked away from is still always going to be there because it's sensationally, like, his love. It's not just Nana. It's also Blast. It's also his best friends. Mm -hmm. And you can't just cut that off when it's fate. Yep. Silly demon lord. Meddling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so then Shin says, by the way, Yasan, you told Nana over the phone that you provoked Ren. What exactly did you tell him? <laughs> What was your plan? <laughs> it's for personal education. <laughs> yeah, he says in mind, he's like, tell me so I can learn strategy. <laughs> <laughs> and Yasu was like, there wasn't any plan. Don't you understand how stupid I am? <laughs> and Shin's like, but you're intelligent. And he's like, it wasn't intelligence. And you're still very young. <laughs> Oh, and good. it's like, it's like, yeah. no, Yasu, you knew what the fuck you were saying. Yeah. He's shouldn't so mean and mine. He's just like, but you're smart. Not like Nobu. And then no Nobu oh. hucks some mangjong at him. He's like, hey. Oh, yeah. No, there's a little, there's a little tiny word to say goodbye. This isn't like yo, Nobu. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I mean, like, it wasn't planned, but it also, like, was smart. Yeah. Because, like, they both need that push. And see? This is what mm -hmm. the push did. It Look did. It. Look all it. Kissy. Kissy face. They're all kissy and sweet. And then we have, like, one of the classic, like, this is, like, one of the classic images of, of Ren and Nana, where she's, like, kissing his forehead. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have the thought, the, 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 the square thoughts. Square mm -hmm. thoughts? Cube square thoughts. thoughts. Square Cube thoughts? thoughts? <laughs> narration <laughs> at the time i told myself that i didn't want to fall in love ever again but that night while praying for their happiness nana i thought that despite all the wounds and all the pain it could cause i wanted to dream again and love someone with all my heart mm. Yeah. Mm hmm Well, yeah, and also I kind of I kind of have like an oh dear to that as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's only because like you know, this is just me, but I feel like Hachi she she's doing that thing that I have seen happen in the past, which is like, oh, Ren and Nana relationship. I want the one that looks just like that. Mm. So I'm going to go find one. And even if it doesn't look just like that, I'm going to force it to look like that. Oh, see, like, I never, I never got that read from it. I think that it's just giving her hope of love again. Huh. Like, just that thing, that idea that this does exist. It is real. Um, I want to try. To find that thing. Mm. Like, that's, I guess, what I thought. Yeah, no, that's 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 totally fine. It's just, I've seen, in my experience, that's what I've seen. Usually when, like, my girlfriends say that, I'm like, so you're just going to go out and get the copy thing of that? And they're like, yes, exactly that. It's like, oh, okay. Weird. 
but people don't function that way. Like, different relationships are different. Yeah, people interact differently. People bring different things out in different people. It's about yeah. finding someone that brings out the good qualities and makes the not-so-good qualities feel safe to come out. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I've had a lot of friends in my life that have had a lot of trauma, so they're just like, I'm just going to force it, because that sounds correct. And that's it's so like, weird. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, that's weird, though. Yeah, it's it's bizarre to watch. You should I'm be on sure. the watching side. <laughs> I don't want to. I will stay in my bedroom. Thank you very much. That's okay. Um, it's it's safer, honestly. It <laughs> it's so much safer. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I, yeah, I don't I don't get that read. Um, well, but I good. Think that, I think that she like would go gung ho into this is possible. I need to find it. You know what I mean. Yeah. But I, I don't think that she has the longevity or the patience to try to force anyone. Mm, that's true. She I also do don't think that she has, like, the self-awareness to know how to force someone. <laughs> true. Um, but she says, I wanted to dream again and love someone with all of my heart. I, I think that that's sweet. I think that for her to, like, get to that point, it's really good, even though, like, you know... Wasn't she already kind of at that point? Like, I mean, kind of. She she really didn't take a moment. She did where she's like, "I'll never love again," and then and then the situation here. Right. It only took like a week and a half. Yep. Of reflection. Of reflection. And this so, has been almost a month. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So like, and like, um, we know how this goes. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we do. I just don't think that Hachi is capable of, like, forcing any, any you know what I mean? Like, mm. the, um, the, yeah, the nice thing about Hachi, I mean, besides the inability to force things, is that she doesn't do uh, the thing that I've seen most women do when they're like, I'm going to force it. It's, it's mostly like, they'll have the relationship, and then when it doesn't look the same as that other one, like the Ren and Nana relationship that they want, they tend mm. to become very jealous and kind of uh, weird toward the other girlfriend. But Hachi's not like that, so that's good. Right, right. Yeah, that's weird. I've seen that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's weird. It's a thing. <laughs> Understand people, that's all. <laughs> that's all. People People are complicated. I just don't understand how, like, uncomfortable situations can make people sensationally feel, like, happy. Because I don't think that that's, like, what it is. But they've convinced themselves that that's what it is. And that's weird to me. Yeah. Like, this was my read on that. Good thing Hachi isn't, you know, the kind of person to be jealous of a girlfriend for having the, the better relationship? Question mark? Yeah, um, I mean... It's not better. I think that yeah, that's true. But I think that I think that Hachi doesn't have anything, no. and that Hachi wants a very different relationship. Like she does, she wants a a, a pavilion, or whatever. Really? Because at first she's like, I don't want to. I don't have anything to do with a pavilion anymore because yeah, but no she Shoji. did. She did. I think she still does. I think she still wants a fancy house. Yeah, yeah, and like three wedding dresses and three <laughs> wedding dresses, <laughs> and like all the things. All the things. Um, you know, her early character development is kind of tough. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's not but terrible. Then... No, but it's yeah. not. Yeah. She's terrible. She's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, the more, like, like since we've kind of, like, diagnosed Hachi. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, and the thing is, is, like, when I went back and read these translations, it, I wouldn't have been as hard as, on her as I was. Like, honestly. Oh, I mean, that's that, that's totally fair. It's just, like, since we did that, I was just like, oh, I feel more protective of this poor, like, early 20-something neurodivergent girl. Dude. Like, her brain just doesn't get it. It's, it's okay. Yeah, I know. She's, like, in her own land. The Hachi yeah. land. The Hachi land. The Hachi land, which is actually, like, oh, my goodness. The Hachi land is actually the vortex from the <laughs> elevator in Junko's corner. And <laughs> <laughs> No, for real, though. For real. <laughs> and that is the time rift of the Yazwaverse from the dates being wrong on the cell phones. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. And this like... is how you can radicalize the internet, kids. Yay! So where can people find you? <laughs> they can find me on Instagram on Mott, M-O-T, 
H underscore L A C E. Uh, that's where they can find me. It has my link tree to all of my things. All the things. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> okay. So you can find me everywhere at Kirsten M. Darling. It's K I R S T I N M D A R L I N G, like Wendy. Um, I also have a website, so it's thatplus.com at the end. And we'll be uploading every Monday slash Tuesday. Yeah. That's what I got. Yeah. yeah. And you can follow yeah. Nanapod. Um, yes. Here, like this if you're listening to it. Please do the things. Uh, we also have a Tumblr. And mm. on our Instagram, which is apartment707 underscore, there is a link tree. Go ahead and click that and you can find things. Yeah, and we've got what is it? It's like Nana Manga Pod and uh, the Yazawaverse. The Yazawaverse. So Yazawaverse. much easier to find, truthfully, <laughs> on Tumblr. I mean, I'm just sticking. I, I I'm just sticking with it because Yazawaverse is also fun to say. Um, yes. And yeah, so goodbye forever. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Till next time. Till next time. Cool. Goodbye. Thanks forever. for being here. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>I just figured I'm like I'm just gonna do the thing so yeah that makes it yeah. easy so you made her family all I made her family. family I made her family and then I fell asleep this was day before yesterday I fell asleep and then I woke up and I'm so happy I'm not epileptic because I left <laughs> my game running and it lost its shit on me so oh. I lost I lost I lost the Komatsu family and had to redo them because that's my luck in things, apparently. You know, it's not like I haven't already built the entire Yazwa verse once before. Now I'm starting over. But um, true. But it worked out because they're much cuter than they were the first time. Mm, cool. Um, and making Nami just made me feel like really uncomfortable. Oh, because you have to choose different color skin. Because I have to make her look like she's black fishing, and it's awkward yeah yeah like it's just awkward yeah. and i know that's like also cultural so i don't want to get into it you know yeah because i always just now that i think like look at that fashion I'm, all i just think is oh they're just like japanese ghosts they're just invoking japanese wait like, but that's yeah it is based on like a folklore thing right or at least it's yes. been attached to one but like being from the u.s it's just like oh yeah i know <laughs> it's like you like, feel the fucking way <laughs> But I found a bunch of CC from that somebody made of that fashion. Oh, so cool. she has the makeup. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> I'll bet it does. Um, I mean, I have appreciation in its own regard, but like that concealer contouring is something that's out of this world. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a choice. It is. It is a choice. Definitely. <laughs> So I started, <laughs> but I, I finished them because like Ren and Nana were already done and um, their warehouse was, it's more or less done. I still need to do like detailed work on it. So mm -hmm. I finished uh, the Komatsu family and I'm working on their house build now. So I've been going through different chapters to find um, the different times that they're at Hachi's parents' house so that I can get like an idea of like what's the living room look like right because like um there's different like little glimpses later on mm -hmm. um and like what's the how can i kind of make it look similar like in the last chapter um you know like obviously like the stairwell is in like the entry room area mm -hmm. so like kind of mapping it out the best i can there is somebody who made like a, a bunch of like i guess like architecture or design sketches for yeah. like shoji's room apartment 707 you know different things like that that had enough yeah. but like this is one of those things that they didn't so it's a lot of like being like okay so this dining room it kind of looks like this but it's probably closer to the kitchen you know what i mean like kind of guessing where mm -hmm. things are and you know 
building it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The hard part after the research is done. (laughs) (laughs) I I like building though. It's okay. It's all Yeah. Yeah. It's fun times, I think. Right. But um, but yeah, so the Kamatsu family is done. Um, I am thinking about just uploading it to my sim like account because then people can download these things but there is cc so it's like Mm. um i'm too lazy to take the time to figure out what cc i used for people (laughs) so (laughs) there's that that's fair (laughs) i'm like uh and i use a mac so like PC has a lot of really user-friendly things to be able to look up CC super easily and to get, like, um, you know, like, the website code for people to download it, but Mac doesn't. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. We will see. Good but times. I'll share, so- I'll share screenshots on the Tumblr. Yeah, you should do that. And I tried to, like, record myself, like, make a video for YouTube while I was doing it, but I got too tired. And uh, I decided to do it in bed. And I'm like, I don't want to worry about this anymore. So uh, we'll see <laughs> how that goes. Yeah, we we will. You'll have to let me know how that, how that works out. <laughs> I mean, I'm just like, I'm old. Leave me alone. <laughs> don't make me do things. Oh, fair. 